Okay, how's it going, everybody? We got Sandra and Alan coming on. They were on just a while back, but uh, I want to talk to him and see what's happening, not just only in the, uh, the world of uh, these relationships that are occurring more and more frequently, but uh, also just see what's going on and uh, in, the, in general, because they've got a really good perspective because they've been doing an incredible radio show for three or four years. I'm gonna get them up here now. I'm a little bit depleted. I'll be very honest about it. I don't know what's going on, but my body's like just like giving out. <laughs> so hopefully I can get resurrected here. Let's see. Oh, did I disappear? Oh, wait a minute. Let's give it a second. Looks like a bandwidth issue. Huh. Well, well, here we go. Okay. okay. Start video. Houston, we have liftoff. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. It, it just kind of cut off right after you said I'm a little bit depleted. <laughs> and it was like, okay, bye bye. Yeah, no, what? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Your videos. Okay, hang on. Sorry uh, about that. That was my yeah, no problem. There you go. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, my oh, Lord. We're just having way too much fun, man. I'm Are you really? You. Oh, God. <laughs> Today is today is really Crazy. challenging. <laughs> is it? It's a challenging day. <laughs> yeah. It really is. I mean, yeah, today is just one of those days. I mean, you know, a lot of times, you know, we're just kind of like, yay, happy, happy, everything's <laughs> great. And then there's other days it's like, uh dude, anyway. I feel uh today. I don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, I'm like uh, almost, you know almost uh wanting to just like turn it all off and go lay down i don't know what's going on my right. whole body's just like uh I, what's the word it, um god i don't even know how to explain it it's just like it's on shutdown or something it's on yeah. reboot baby yeah yeah is that what it is after all that passion <laughs> yesterday you are on reboot i know <laughs> no wonder you're depleted man we check that out and it's just like Where's the passion? Wow, I mean, Todd. I thought, damn, son, you're going to have an aneurysm. Slow down. Yeah. I don't know what, what happened. I woke up. I, I got woken up. At, I don't even know. I can't think. But it must have been like 6.30 or something. And we went to bed late. And I got up. And, and I, no, I was telling Morgan, I kept like somebody was nudging me. Like, get up, get up, get up, yeah. get up. And then and I'm trying to tune in. And of course, it's all wordless. And then I just sat here and I thought, you know, and then it just happened. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but it's, you know it, what it, though, we were talking about it this morning yeah. and it's like, everybody gets to see us when we're smiling and we're having these wonderful days. And today just seemed like it was it, one of those it kind of ties into what Todd's video about yeah. was about yesterday that we were checking out, which we love, by the way, we, before we even get going, we got to thank you for everything that you do. Oh my um, God. I don't know that we've really said that yet. I, I'd like to think we have, but I mean, the amount of energy and passion and work and heart and your soul that you put into what you do, mm. my hat is off to you. I think I can speak for Sandra on that. Mm. You just do an incredible amount of work. So, hey, throw some of that back your way because you're doing a hell of a job, brother. I'm telling you. I, I, I think it had an activation in, in it, too. Yeah. Um, because the masculine... You guys are so beautiful and so amazing. Step into your power. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because and I don't know if you can relate to this, Alan, but it's like uh, I went through a castration, <laughs> you know? You know, I mean, it was like... Uh, well, you I know, went through that, that years ago after Sandra <laughs> gave birth to our twins in a manner of speaking, you know? 
Yeah, but it was like, you know, this whole thing about uh, allowing and supporting and recognizing and accepting the feminine and and then being in a relationship with someone who's very intelligent and high vibrational and who's got this stuff coming in for years. I didn't understand it all, but then I went through this period of of, you know, where are my balls? <laughs> they're they're gone now, you know, but I know they were safely being held and then all of a sudden something started kicking in three or four months ago of like, you know, now it's time to start finding that, that masculine power. And I, I don't know, I'm so depleted today. I don't even know if I can even make sense. So hopefully y'all can carry the show. <laughs> you know, we, you know, we'll do what we can. And I, I love what you just got done saying there, Todd, um, you know, cause you're talking about, you know, what, what is true masculine. And, you know, I think we see great, uh, examples of what it's not yeah. every day like whenever we go out shopping we go out into the public i see a lot of it what it's not yeah but i mean out in the everyday world you just don't really see what the true masculine is i mean you know we've been taught as the masculine for so freaking long that you know you keep a stiff upper lip suck it up yeah. walk it off you know and to a degree yeah you know, I, but I mean, that's not a way of life. I mean, we've all got stuff we've got to do and we don't feel like doing it every day, like today, yeah. like what we're talking about. Yeah. But you know, yeah. So to a degree it is, but to a degree, it's like, you have to show yourself. And that's what Sandra and I were going through this morning because I had a hell of a bad morning. Really? I mean, yeah. I mean, just keeping it real. You know, emotional this, it was an emotional it was morning. a very emotional morning for me and uh mm. it's something that it doesn't bother me doing in front of you know i i don't mind going through that with sam yeah. you know and i'm learning more and more how i had something like that happen about a month and a half ago in front of an auto worker i started crying and his reaction was funny because, you know, I'm just like, wow, I was telling a story about a lady who had had uh, Alzheimer's and they gave her a drug. And for a little while, she came out of it. And you got to actually see something other than that robot stare, you know, to, to nowhere. And she was actually herself for like 15 minutes. And I got really emotional yeah. telling that story. Because that was huge. I'm like, can you imagine? And I started crying a little bit. And I'm like, wow, that hit me, man. I'm sorry. But that hit me. And his reaction was funny. Just like, oh, that's okay. It could happen to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and his reaction, I just found that funny. You know, it was just like, it, it was kind of like a really nice way of saying, oh, that's all right. I'm your bud. Shake it off. We won't <laughs> talk about it anymore. Yeah, right. Okay. Get out of my Get out of my space. Don't rub yeah. off on me. Yeah, yeah, sweet guy. But, you know, this yeah. reaction just killed me. Well, we don't know what to do with it. You know, I mean, it's just like I was talking about. I mean, well, I, I'm a big believer that we're 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 expanding whatever templates we've uh, been encoded with or downloaded or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so we don't really know what it is. You know, it's like here, this is all of history and all the Akashic. We hand it to you guys. Go on this mission. You're going to wake up to it. You wake up to it and you're like, okay, what do we do? You know, and yeah. and there's not a really uh, a reinforcement. The validations, the synchronicities are a reinforcement. Uh, and it's a beautiful story and it's a beautiful experience. But yeah, I'm with you today. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's uh, exclusive to the masculine energy, but man, I am sitting here going, what in the heck is happening here? You know, I can't put my finger on it. And like you said, you get up and you go back to the, to the wisdom well to, to and, and you get to work, you know? And yeah. I don't know, man. I normally can work it out on these shows, but I almost feel like that, um, like something's in my body, like, like something is his, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to say like uh, implanted, but uh, there's like my body's like hit like bottom, like something's cleared out and there's nothing there. Like I'm nothing. <laughs> you're, you're in the lull, yeah. sweetheart. Yeah. In the you're lull. Creating that lull. And it's, um, 
Alan and I were talking this morning and it was like, today is the day probably that um, we get to be really real and raw. Yeah. You know? And, and what do we have? And you and Morgan are on this. There are several other couples that are on this journey where you've shed everything, everything. What do you have left? You have each other. Yeah. That's You're true. becoming the we in this. Yeah. yeah. And we look at each other and it's like, it's okay to express, but you know what we had to get through to get to this point? Yes. You know, you and Morgan both mm -hmm. know. I think you guys might even know better than we do because you've been exposed to so many couples you know, that's one of the things I wanted to, to get into, but you're right. Uh, you know, there's been so many, uh, uh, you know, everyone thinks it's all peaches and cream and bells and whistles. And, and you, and there's these moments where you go through the lull together, I guess, you mm -hmm. know, it's one thing to go through it one at a time, but then you go through these lulls and like things disappear. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like uh, transmissions disappear or, connection dis disappears and or, or or the love expands but the old intimacy disappears <laughs> you're like what's going on here you know and then you start to just accept it and willingly surrender and I mean it's there, there's no question that all of us paired up or not that are in the that are on this path have followed our internal guidance and it's not let us down it just doesn't make all the sense all the time that's the only thing like today <laughs> we were just talking about that a little while ago i mean you know this dear dear lady that, that we're with right now um yeah we were talking about before sandra and i came back together you know in the, just a number of years ago and we were just sitting there talking about you know we could have lived comfortably mm -hmm. you know i mean not that we were rolling in the dough but we had enough to meet our needs and have a little extra you know, to, to have a little fun with, but we were both in situations where it just did not resonate at all. I mean, yeah. there was nothing of real substance there yeah. and it wasn't fair to the people that we were with. And it definitely wasn't fair to us, yeah. you know, because living a lie is never being fair to yourself or anybody else. <laughs> and we were just sitting there talking about it. And it's just like, that was one of the most horrific and wonderful things that we've ever done simultaneously is just to decide to leave that and say, okay, my intuition is saying, we got to do this. Hers is saying the same thing and we did it. And the and, universe made it happen. Yeah. We couldn't have stopped it if we tried. Oh it, yeah. It was on. It was yeah. like, yeah. we, we all had homes. We all yeah. had things and, Alan and I were like, everything was stripped away, <coughs> shed away so that we could sit here as we yeah. and understand that when we balance, amazing things start to happen, but it's not easy to get there. Mm. We used to say, I don't know if you guys said this or not, but when you're out, I'm sure you guys have been in the wilderness too, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, when you're out in the wilderness, you're raw, you are raw. Mm. There is nothing to There's hide nothing anything. To hide behind. And it was the most amazing and horrific experience ever balled into one. And we looked at it and went, isn't that complete balance? And you bring yeah. it to that, that singularity point yeah. about a week ago, I had this, this word and they love my guides love to talk to me through words that I couldn't possibly know. Yeah. And I woke up and Ellen said, what's going on? I said, got these words and they don't make sense. I know what the words individually mean. Um, but what's coming in was really bizarre. And it was singularity inversion. Because I said, what is going on to my guides? Because this is crazy energy. And they said singularity inversion. So singularity point is there is no time and space. Yeah. And inversion means go inward. Yeah. So we're going even deeper. And yes. so thank goodness it's emotional, not these feelings outside of us that we have a belief system. It should be this way or that way. Yeah. yeah. This is very emotional and it's raw. Oh my God. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I can feel it coming on. <laughs> my brother just set me off over here, but no, I get what you're saying. And I think when I got up yesterday, because, you know, there's always multiple meanings and multiple purposes to it's always a multiple stream, you know, 
we're, we're not, we never have been uh, one dimensional. Uh, but so yesterday morning, there, there was some, there was a lot of messages. One of them was, you need to get out there and shake it up. You know, you, you know, that was part of it. But the, the, and it, and it carried over till today. I, I was actually got up early again. I thought, well, maybe I'll do this radio thing. I mean, this broadcast thing again, but I couldn't feel it. You know what I mean? I was, my body was like saying, no, not today. But I started to write a post and I was like trying to uh, verbalize it and frame it up. But it had something to do with what you're saying. And it was like, okay, people are talking about this and that and this and that. And I'm not going to name particulars because I'm sick and tired of talking about right. it. Right. We know what you're but, talking yeah. about. Right. And, and, I, and I thought, you know what? Bring it on. Bring it on. Like, like this is what I'm hearing. If, if Maybe I can verbalize it. The universe, the you, me, we, and it, is going to put us in a space where there's nothing left. Exactly. And, it's, and it's all dependent on how far we want to go, how much more pain and suffering we want, how little ease, how little grace we want. You know, I mean, what more do we need to know? Are we eternal souls? Are we from the original one? I mean, I, all these things that absolutely supersede any of this stuff that people are talking about. And I just see it that way. Like if it takes the entire electrical grid to go out around the world, then by God, let's do it. Let's just do it. Yeah. Let's see what we're made of, you know? But yeah. yeah, I think it's getting to that point where, you know, one way or the other, this is going down. You know, Morgan often says, this is a collective ascension. Yes, it's happening. It's just a matter of, you know, are we going to are you going to uh, flow into it? Are you going to sit there and push back on it? You know, you can either get into the flow and know it or you can resist it kicking and screaming. It's still going to happen. That's right. And, and and one of the guests that we had on what was it, just this last weekend. Mm -hmm. Right, Judith. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, she was even talking about that. One of the one of the dear folks that we love. Um, and have been following for quite some time now, Judith Cusel. We had her on our show. <laughs> she was on his show the a same day. A little while ago. Yeah, I, don't remember yeah, her I being saw on that. Yours. I thought, man, she's a boss. I saw <laughs> oh, the yeah, ad on your on page. Saturday. I was like, wait a minute. And I'm like, God, this is like Judith Cusel Day all over the world, <laughs> man. <laughs> but I mean, in, in what was it, her last post, you know, she was sitting there talking about that exact same thing, God, yeah. you know, about how there's going to be a lot of people checking out you know, and they're going to be making way for those coming in because yeah. their job is done, you know, yeah. and, and they're going to go. And I believe that mm -hmm. I because be I mean, I was getting a big emotional dose of that this morning. Mm -hmm. oh my I, I, uh, God. you know, um, I didn't see that post, but, um, and she's been on a few times and, and we're not like, you know, best of friends, but we have that, you know, how you have that, uh, that connection that right. kindredness you know so we've always clicked every time she comes on i'm going through like some major thing will happen the first show i did with her i cried on the camera for an hour and a half with a box of tissues right so anyway but i noticed when she came back from her trip to uh the middle east and where wherever greece or whatever uh, she started putting out like just just i mean a, a lot more post and they were just so much more substantial, although she was already coming from a substantial place. But uh, I look at her and I see this, that Phoenix rising out of her, you know what I mean? And I see that in a lot of people and it's very, uh, you know, it's, it, to me, it's very uh, magnificent, you know? And, uh, and, you know, as the individual goes, so goes the collective. But to your point, a lot of people, when I say a lot, I saw quite a few posts over the years and they would say, when this time comes, a bunch of people are going to leave. And I thought, mm, mm, you know, come on. But <laughs> now I look at it and I think, you know what? It only makes sense because one thing is if you are resisting, your body's not uh, transforming. The atmosphere, so to speak, is, is transforming and, and you won't be able to live in this body unless you go with it, you know? Yeah, so, I agree. Totally. It's an amazing journey, but can we look at all of the things that we've been taught to believe that the amazingness of awfulness, yeah. can we look yeah. at that? So we're balancing things here. So we have to look at 
all of the things that are not so fun and they're not so pretty to look at. We kind of say, if you put a child behind a wheel, they only go to the pretty things. Mm. They can't touch the brake. They can't touch the gas, but they can follow the pretty. Yeah. And we like to say that's our ego. Our ego wants to go to the pretty and not acknowledge that there is some dark out there so that we can balance it. So the adult gets behind the wheel and says, hey, I can get here, but I have to go through that part that is not so pretty. And it may be dark, but that's how we're going to balance this out. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's not a lot. We've watched you guys journey and mm -hmm. so many people's journey who are doing the exact same thing. It's like this was the most amazing gift ever given to a human ever. Yeah. Now, one thing we have definitely noticed, this is not for instant gratification. No. I mean, you know, if you're looking for instant gratification, you might as well go back to Facebook or Instagram or whatever, you know, there you might find it, you know, in whatever shape or form that that fills the void for that particular time. Yeah. But yeah, this is definitely, we found out, long haul. This yeah. is high, high energy, yeah. and it's time for us to balance and understand this is what we were always meant to be, you and yeah. Morgan. You know, it's yeah. it's being as raw as you possibly can with that person and saying, I'm vulnerable right now, but I feel safe with you. And I, I feel love, safe. I love the fact that you can get on the air and freaking ball, hmm. you know, with a guest because that is real. Yeah, you know, and because we see so many folks, you know, like folks in, in what you do, what we do, you know, um, teachers, whatever you want to call them, gurus, which I hate that word, by the way, <laughs> you know, you never see them where they're having an off day yeah. ever. And I'm like, that's a bunch of crap. Yeah. You know, please, you know, we're all human. I mean, we're these eternal souls going through this human school where we're trying to remember what we are, who we are. And, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, we're never going to do that. Yeah. I remember being on the air during a show. And last year around this time, it was so intense. Alan had already had like two mini strokes. And we were on the air and he had a stroke and nobody knew it except I was looking at him and said, are you okay? And he was like, yes, but the words weren't coming out exactly, but it was almost like it was designed think, that way. And I don't think anybody else noticed. The only reason she noticed, of course, is because of our connection. You know, she knows the patterns and habits and all of that. But yeah, and then we got off the air and she looked at me and she said, did you just have a little TIA again? And I said, yeah, but you know, I didn't, you know, fall out of my chair. So you got to keep the show going. You know, what am I going to do? Wow. You know, just yeah. keep going. So we keep going and that's what's going on. We've got the persona, the face is on and we're not letting people see us raw. And that's what this is about. You activated a ton of people yesterday, Todd. So pat yourself on the back. I mean, you, you got our attention. You again. got our attention. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you for that. Well, you're very welcome. I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hey, Do we need to know? When, that's when the best stuff happens. Isn't it though? You yeah. know? Isn't it really, isn't that really the truth? I mean, it's yeah. when you, when you take all the uh, rehearsal out and the, you know, preparation and you just, and, and that's really also to me, a big characteristic of this journey uh, like that you're having or that Morgan and I are having, like we, we know we're going to be here till the 27th. And then we know we're going to be uh, at a beloved sister's until the 7th of April. And we said, okay, well, it'd be cool if we could do this and this. Uh, it seems to be fitting. It's been coming in. and uh, But we don't really know. We don't really know because we know it's going to happen. Uh, like she said the other day, uh, you know, we, we know when it's going to happen when your whole body just knows. Like your whole right. being just knows this is right. Go do it. You know, and that and that's that's another thing that's that's a, a kind of a. Um, 
a change that that we're going through or maybe you can call it quantum or whatever but it, all of us is is this new way of thinking uh, and I, I hate to put it that way because it's really not thinking it's more of an instinct right it's Intuition stepping into way. the heart space and saying yeah, yeah. Do, i'm going to tell the brain what to do yeah yeah, yeah. have you have you had um like like recently like in the last couple of weeks are you feeling anything or either and or feeling anything that's happening to you and maybe you know collectively and or through your show and and, or even interacting with these other people and even the couples i mean is there something going on that that stands out that's a standout for you there's a lot of women right now that are being you know the goddess energy is amazing. Um, and the feminine is really stepping into their true power. And we are noticing through the other couples. Now the women are kind of backing up and the men are stepping forward. Okay. And I can put this in the masculine and feminine. Yeah. We both carry it. Um, we're noticing the step back, the pullback. And are you, or are you not saying to yourself, what is my passion? Mm. Mm. What is my passion? We're noticing that from the masculine. The masculine is really going over it in their brain. Okay, I've had this passion and this passion, and I'm really passionate about this, but it's like this pullback of um, the feminine energy saying, go, step forward. It's your turn. It's time. And just um, changes in the body. Um, There are a lot of um, the females that are going through illnesses right now. Um, And we're just in this space of holding the space. And like you said yesterday, there are so many things that you guys have gone through. Mm. And a lot of the couples really don't divulge what goes on. You get to see the happy, smiley faces, mm-hmm. but you don't get to see some of this stuff is pretty traumatic. You know that, Todd. So does Morgan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of the couples are experiencing this trauma. Now we got to go back. It's almost like we're backing up and we're revisiting it from a different perspective now Yeah. than when we started it. And we can see the beauty by yes. backtracking and looking at it and and we couldn't do that before all we had was the belief system yeah. in place and now we get to revisit it and go well that was beautiful too because look at where i am how many times do people say well i'm trying to get to the finish line but they forget to back up and look where you started and where you are right now and go i am so grateful right and, i am so and- grateful yeah and and uh, a boss <laughs> you know you look back we had a we had a transmission come in about three nights ago or four nights ago so i back up about a, about a week about 10 days to two weeks ago we were doing our normal thing cohabitating i did a bunch of shows and I, after the last show i went into the house she'd been doing mandalas anchoring all day long pulling in information that had to do with what's our next step or um, Sology, you know, like, just like, what do we do and how do we frame it up? How do we get, she was getting a lot of high level information. So I go in the house, she wants to talk. I really didn't want to, but I sat down and we started to talk. It didn't go anywhere very fast. (laughs) So the next thing, you know, which was beautiful, we just did what we knew to do, which was, I went into the RV and, uh, and I had probably, uh, 12, 14 shows over the next three days. I never came out. <laughs> she she went in and did her work. I was doing work on myself. And uh, I forgot why I even got into that. It was why you brought it up. But, um, but anyway, uh, oh, I know what it was. So about three nights ago, they, they came in and they, and they kind of showed us all that. And they said, you don't, or in other words, let us show you why. Let us show you how important these periods are. Uh, In other words, you've got to go into it to bring out the new template or, you know, the the expanded template or expanded self or couple or whatever. But yeah, uh, you're right about that too, because you know a lot more couples than we do. And, uh, and, And you're right. If you're public as well, 
and we try to be pretty public. You know, with, with we talk about everything pretty much when I can get her to get on. <laughs> when I can I just talk about it anyway and take my chances. But she's gonna um, be here one way or the other, right? She's yeah. with us anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know, um, but yeah, and, and and I think it's also characteristic of the individual's journey as well. You know, some people put it out there in that codependent frequency, like you're talking about Instagram, Facebook put it out there to get that response that that yeah. little quick fix but there's the it's the ones that are really quiet and they just go about their business and, and they do their thing you know and these are all energetic impressions being put out onto the grid and and, and everybody i think is starting to get more and more awareness around the fact that whatever you do whatever you do it's not small you know it's perfect yeah yeah it's, it's in perfect timing, perfect space, perfect everything. We weren't created in the imperfections. Mm -hmm. We were created perfectly. Yeah. But we are the ones that look at ourselves and go, I'm imperfect. Yeah. Right. But well, you know, and, and one of the big things we try not to do either is compare ourselves with yeah. other people. Comparison yeah. kills. You know, because I mean, we've been taught to do that, you know, yeah. just like if you're a tennis player, you know, you got to be just like Novak uh Djokovic you know or Roger Federer or whoever and if you're not then you're maybe you want to try bowling or something you know because if you can't reach that level and yeah you're right exactly every small seemingly small thing you do it, it's going to have a huge difference it, I mean the ripple effect yeah I mean yeah. how old is this I mean you know the ripple effect is huge but it's so subtle and you don't always notice it but it, it does have long-term ramifications. Absolutely, it does. Even if we look at you having Judith Kussel on the same day we did, do you not see that as a collective consciousness? Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And we those, could plan that. <laughs> no, those, those little things are happening over and over and over again. And it could be, uh, what, was, what happened? So Morgan had a... Uh, uh, when she was doing her work during that three-day period, one of the things that happened is she had an original wound come up and, and regarding a certain aspect of, of the journey that she had forgotten about. And the girl's name that was involved was the name of my second wife, deceased wife, right? But these things seem so ridiculous. My daughter just got accepted to uh, a school, a private university. Um, she was awarded a $48,000 scholarship. And I, and I said, where, where, what is it? And she said, St. Edward in Austin. I said, you know what? That I, I applied to four schools when I was 18 years old. That's the one I wanted to go to. I got accepted to all of them, but I didn't have the money. So there was a synchronicity there that told me you know, just like the other, there, there's something about these things that are happening synchronistically. It's no longer just uh, unique to numbers. It's 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 more than coincidence. And, and, and these validations to me have been getting louder and louder. Yeah. We're, we're noticing that we'll have an, an event um, happen. And in the at the time that we're in it, we really can't put our finger on it because it's not gonna be a puzzle piece completed yet. So if we look at this from where it started and revisiting it, um, we've had several encounters with people where we had a lesson we had to learn. And as we, we respond differently rather than react, um, we see the bigger picture. And as we're closing out that part of it and can look back at it, you see the full picture and you're like, ah, oh, now it makes sense. Yeah. That was a lesson I needed to learn. It's really hard for us to yeah. say as human beings, um, how hard is it for you to look at Morgan and say, I feel rejected? Or I, I feel like um, I'm not heard. Or mm -hmm. just different things that most people um, that have a belief system wouldn't be able to say to their significant other. Alan yeah. and I can talk about anything. anything. And in the beginning, it was very triggering. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and now we can yeah. visit anything and, and be okay and feel safe. That's what this is about. This connection is about safety. 
and knowing I can say anything and Ellen can say anything and neither one of us is running out the door Yeah, and going, bye, I've had enough. No, I can't deal with this. I got to go. I know because I was just thinking back to a relationship I had not too long ago. And I mean, crap, she was out the door every, I don't know, every month, three or four times while I'm leaving. I'd be like, can I help? Yeah. You know, do, do you need some? Yeah. But I mean, she would leave three or four times a month. And I think we step in with this heavy baggage and, yeah. and, and we try to relive what we know when now we're trying to download what we don't know. And it feels really uncomfortable because yeah. we're not used to it. Yeah. It's becoming one of those things where I, I feel with everything in me, and I, I, I think you guys do too, that this is lead by example. We need to lead by example and really be solid in the connection Yeah, and understand mm. this is who we were always meant to be. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think part of the grounding mechanism is this joint mission that these couples have. We had a, a she she lined up like twenty couples this month, but one of the first uh, shows of the month was with Michael James Garber, who's in a who's in a, a partnership with uh, Ron Arnie. They're a same sex couple because it still applies. Yes, and they had come on a couple of times, uh, and one of the times they came on, they were like they were like that, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. it, it, but bless them. I mean, they, they did it. They, they were authentic and raw and real, but, uh, but, but we were talking about, I was talking to him, Ron wasn't on with him. And, and he said, uh, no matter what happens, no matter what's going on, no matter if we're not in alignment or whatever, we always get up every day and we tend to the mission, you know, so there's, there's some kind of connection uh, of, I don't know if I want to use it, stability, foundational, uh, that, that, you know, that purpose, that multiple purpose, that part of it uh, that, that keeps, keeps us on track, you know, or, or has kept us on track. To me, I feel like we're, and we can't be the only ones because we've actually been shown this as well, um, that uh, the, there's many couples that are in the, the same energy or frequency that that you guys are you know there's many couples and again these are not on the mainstream media you don't see them right. out there every day you know yeah we we look at it like this and and we hope you do too todd when we're able to do this sometimes alan and i get kind of goofy you know because we just love the <laughs> laughter um usually yeah but you <laughs> cannot know the laughter unless you've known the tears mm-hmm. okay So the laughter is very important, but we're leading by example. We literally are. We're being shed of everything that we ever knew. Mm. And we're standing firm together because Alan says, I'll say, I love you. Oh my God. I adore you. And he goes, you're my everything. And it took me a long time not to go into that space of saying, well, why don't you say that back to me? I don't because now I look and I think he is my everything and I'm his everything. You know, we just kind of go with the moment on that. I mean, you know, yeah. if we feel like saying it back, then we will, but we don't feel obligated, obligated. to, yeah. you know, cause so many times, I mean, how robotic, I mean, I'm sure you've heard it. I know everybody yeah. listening. I, I love you. I, I got, I, I got love good, you too. Love you too. Yeah, okay. I got good training. I, I got good training yeah. from, I got good training from Morgan on that. I think I told her, I love you. Uh, probably 150 to 200 times before she ever said it but i i eventually figured it out you know yeah Yeah. it's exactly right and 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 you can go through that without getting your feelings hurt Mm -hmm. you know just like okay you're not obligated i'm just telling you how i feel yeah there's no anticipation of anything coming back from you just wanted to let you know that's it and that's all yeah it's real and it's raw yeah. and we always look at feelings or usually have a name associated with it or an event or something but the emotions the emotions are real and when you're trying to align them all of a sudden you'll have these experiences with feelings that have names and they'll throw themselves into your energy and it kind of kicks it yeah. off balance and you're you can yeah. 
you can tell when you're reading the energy yeah. and exactly what's going on. Um, you'll see certain events that come up and they come into your emotional balance and you're like, Whoa, what is that? And you feel it. And it's, it's beautiful for you to acknowledge that the energy is showing you something Yeah. rather True. than waiting for something outside of you to say, Hey, what's going on? Let's play with you a little bit. <laughs> <Right>. you know, <laughs> the energy's coming. What the heck is that? You know? So it's this, this beautiful balancing act. And we have seen you, Oh my God, Todd, we have <laughs> seen you grow so much and we were so proud of you <laughs> oh, sure Todd thinks well I don't know there's some of those days if you saw me you wouldn't be saying it right <laughs> no I just remember being on your radio show it was one of the first uh show it was probably like the first or second show I'd done I did three and and they were all happened at the same time and uh I had been doing videos for a long time and uh but I was out of control i mean i was i was still very shattered but i'm laughing because uh yeah i i but you know i and i see that in in really in a lot of people you know in most people i in and it really has uh become more obvious uh you look at people because i guess we've had time to see people and and, and get their energy and, and to see these changes is it's, it's, you know, it's very encouraging, uh, but as the individual goes, so goes the collective, you know, but, but yeah, I was a, I was a, I was a, I pretty much thought I'd never hear from y'all again <laughs> oh. <laughs> after I did that show. <laughs> that no. was a, yeah. It no. was, and, and you have to understand there was that connection. So the people yeah. that we yeah. have on the show, we know that we're guided and we listen mm -hmm, and yeah. sometimes we're down to the wire and it's like, okay, come on, who are we having on? And boom, they appear. Yeah. And it was like, and everyone that we've had on the show, we have been guided to have on the show. Wow. Our, we have a platform that's made available for people who have a voice and need to get their voice out there need to share that information and their perspective on things because you know you know as well as we do that not everything that is presented by individual a is going to resonate with everybody else That's right. you know, and you have to have b's point of view come in or experience and so much like you we just try to provide yeah. a lot of different ways of going about going to the same place yeah you know, because yeah. it's going to help somebody somewhere. And that's yeah. what I, that's what we're here to do. Right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Morgan says it's like a buffet. Yeah. yeah. You know? Perfect so you way get, to put it. Yeah. You got, you got to have, yeah. And, and I think that's important that we, that you, and, and speaking of that. So she, okay. So I know, you know, a lot of couples, mm -hmm. right? I mean, a lot of couples, Morgan gave me a number, you know, <laughs> 44. This was a while back. Yeah. So, I mean, and I know you've got to know them to different degrees and such, but, but like, is this, I mean, in your experience with them, in your interactions with them, are, are they all going through the same thing? <laughs> in different degrees and in, it'll yeah. only shift just a little. Yeah. It's almost like everyone is going through everything. I mean, it won't be the exact same thing, but I mean, you'll see like, you'll see trends, I guess is the best yeah. way to put it. Whatever our fear yeah. is mm. still there. If we still have mm. fears, they mm. will stare us straight in the face. Oh yeah. Wow. They will come full oh, circle. Yeah. So um, we notice that and we look at it and acknowledge it, but we don't hold on to it. Um, we're not there to be, we sit here as vessels that can look at someone that is going through a living hell that yeah. can't talk to anybody. And we say, it's okay yeah. because sometimes looking at someone and verbalizing it um, can help clear something that yeah. we didn't even know could be cleared. Yeah. Yeah. These are beautiful, amazing people. And some of them, I got to tell you, most of them, they have to walk through hell yeah. and they come out on the other side and, and they smile because they know, Oh my goodness, I just cleared something. 
I couldn't have done that if I tried, yeah. but yeah. the universe guided me. These are amazing couples. You're yeah. an amazing, you guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of couples out there. They are spread all over the world. Yeah. My curiosity lies. Are you guys going to Sedona in April? Are you? Mm -hmm. That is our intention. We might be now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow, you just threw me off my, my square there. <laughs> oh, I, was, I had this question in my head. I was like, I'm gonna ask this. Oh, question. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm kidding. I know what the question is. No, oh, uh, okay, I don't, you know, uh, if I, I don't know, if I l look at my intuitive thoughts uh, that have been occurring as we're leading up to this, uh, I feel like that, that sector, you know, is, is, I know we're gonna, well, it looks like we'll be in Texas in the end of May. Uh, I'm not really sure what happens between uh, in the four or five, six weeks between um, April 7th and, you know, end of May. But, yeah. you know, I don't know. I, I personally have been feeling something like that. Maybe not specifically Sedona, but I know there's a lot of people headed over there. So are you going for anything? Are you setting your intentions for anything in particular or just going? We've never been, and we're being guided yeah. to go. Because they're yeah. having a big event towards the end of the month in Sedona, the 24th, 25th, 25th and 26th. Okay, April. that's... Uh, uh, Cosmic that, Awakening. Yeah, that's uh, Suzanne Ross. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've got some... Yeah, we've got... Yeah, we know a lot. We all know a lot of people are going to be there. Yeah, Yeah. so I don't know. It sounds, we're I doing know a live broadcast. He sounds just like us. I don't know. That's kind of I don't know. That's kind but, of our you know. intention. Yeah, right. It's not set in stone Make because... Make it show, number one. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious. How many shows do you do? What What's the pattern? Or did you just come and go as you want? I, I think you have a set schedule, don't you? It's yeah. a weekly show. It's a weekly, weekly. show. Yeah. Okay. So we're yeah. on for two hours on Saturday. And we have what they call an encore on Friday nights. So whatever aired the week before will okay. air on the encore. Yeah. Um, and we used to have a couple nights a week. We were on on Thursdays yeah. Yeah. Um, with um, another show. And after Alan started having his uh, TIAs, we had to back down from that because yeah. he was exhausted. Even to do one day was very, very exhausting yeah, I was for him. Kinda, I, I learned to kind of pace myself a little bit yeah. more, you know, and yeah. not that it was an exhausting schedule. I mean, not like what you do, but mm -hmm. I mean, it was relative to me. So I'm just like, yeah, That's I don't it. need it, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, no, I get that. Um. You said something a while ago, and I just want to—I don't—I don't want to let go of it yet. So you were talking about what you've been feeling over the last, you know, two, three weeks, four weeks, whatever, and in in the 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 mat the masculine ident the and we're talking energy the masculine energy identifying its passion, the feminine energy. It sounds like to me what you were saying has been out there spreading her wings kind of pulling back now supporting and saying go for it yes um <clears throat> and that makes a lot of sense to me um because it's still a little bit uh ambiguous to me mm -hmm. i mean like it's still that's one thing we're kind of looking at it's not maybe not specified to masculine and feminine but to me it's like part of us is supporting what we're doing and and holding it and the other part's like okay what do we do you know what is the passion? What is the plan or whatever? Um, <clears throat> has that been the same for y'all? Because you, you guys have been pulled back together. Uh, you told the story last time, but you immediately were into the show, weren't you? It was almost like um, it was designed that way. We were talking about it this morning. It was like we um, left the mountain. We had we had a cabin up in the mountains and and we loved our lives, but we were being pushed to, yeah. okay, they called that the respite time. That was our respite time. Yeah. And when we left the mountain, um, we really didn't know what was going on. And by the time we came back and actually settled in Denver, um, which was probably, I want to say six months into the journey, maybe seven. Yeah. Um, yeah, all, right. all of a sudden, and, and 
I don't want to, uh, I want this to really hit home. You've been in this for quite a while. Alan's been in radio for a long time. I know he is. And for what occurred was the most amazing, beautiful miracle we'd ever seen. Okay. We, we were in one place and all Alan had to do was verbalize that he wanted a radio station that could, that resonated with who he was then in that moment and supported. Okay. And it was the next day that this occurred. Well, we've all been in radio long enough to know to go syndicated is very complicated. Sometimes Mm. it never happens. It takes a long time. Well, times are changing. I understand that. Um, And all of a sudden we're, we thought it was just going to be him. And then it was both of us. They it was were, both. They said, we want you both. And I'm like, what? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, you know, it was truth frequency radio. And they were talking about all the, the news that doesn't get touched or at least doing their best to tell the truth about what was actually going on. And yeah. it was just, it didn't even occur to me that she was going to be a part of that. Yeah. You know, because it's just like, wow. okay, well, that's really kind of out of her realm. And next thing you know, boom, we're together. We're doing a show. And I think a month later, by a fluke it just happened to go syndicated wow and so he was i was in training okay (laughs) guys i was in training (laughs) you were you didn't have your training wheels off yet. no i usually worked in radio behind the scenes so yeah i remember you told me that yeah so are you feeling any type of like what you described are you feeling that in your in your human aspect share journey of your human aspect like do you feel like something's pushing or changing or expanding or coming in anything yeah in the beginning well, of this it was five years they said yeah the guide yeah. said this is a five-year journey buckle up baby yeah we we think we're in a definite i mean as a couple as as a connected uh, couple i think we were definitely in a transition for sure i mean we have been but i think that's starting to speed up a little bit now yeah i think what's going on with the collective uh, couples, whether it's a soulmate relationship, a twin flame relationship, whatever it is, I think what's going on now is the actual, uh, and this has been going on a little while too, I think, you know, the empowerment of the divine feminine. Yeah. But I think now is when the masculine is going to be able to find their space to ex- at least start exploring that a yeah. little bit more and uh, with, with a little bit more fervor, maybe. Yeah, uh, than they've been able to before. Because I mean, today was a p- beautiful example of Sandra holding space for me while I just freaking let it out. Yeah, and I don't think that a lot of men, and I'm just going to speak physical gender wise, men have the uh, comfort level to be able to do that. But I think that that is expanding, and the 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 feminine is is holding that space more and more and more, saying okay, well, this isn't going to be, you know, what I thought it was, but now I understand instead of pushing you to do what I think you should be doing, Mm. I'm going to allow the space for you to find that out for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That resonates a lot with me because to to me, it's like uh, the, the old masculine went out and created, 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 and I'm I'm just drawing that down and drilling that down to myself. And Mm. then she came in and there was a whole new world, right? Right. So slowly but surely, I, you, you step back, back, back. You, you, you lose all your armor. And then like what I said a minute ago, like three, four months ago, it starts coming back in. Like, hey, uh, there is a really powerful, sacred, sexual, creative power that's in you that you've had snippets of that you, you know, that got distorted and all that. But it's there and it needs to come out. And to me, it's like the, the, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a creative eruption in force, but I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> right. That's but a I, but, point, right? Yeah. But, but I know one thing. It's like, like uh, one thing that has been coming in is do it or, or like, like, like yesterday. Like, like you know, it, it, I was shaken. I was shaken up. I was shaking Sarah. I didn't want to get up. I was like, I don't want to get up. And they're like, no, no, no. You need to get up. You need to get up. So two hours on the couch, you know, an hour sitting in here. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I- I'm just going to do this and, and, and give it my best shot. So that's kind of what I've been getting is like, don't get drunk and disorderly, 
and go out there, you know, like a bull in a china shop, but, but start to, to the only way you can really uh, uh, cultivate it is to start taking steps. Yes. And, and yeah. these, this is from a more, uh, a more refined, balanced masculine feminine. So that higher understanding knows that you can't really make a mistake unless you attach to the success or the failure or whatever, you know, but you know what I mean? That's kind of mm -hmm. where I'm, what I'm picking up on. Yeah. But I don't have the answer. I think the explosion <laughs> that you're talking about is this, uh, we've talked about this over the past few weeks that normally what we look at it, it sex in our eyes has been made into something that it is not. It's the most powerful force that we have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as we look at it, Alan says, Oh my goodness. You know, I can feel this in my heart Yeah. yeah. when we're in, um, this, perfect balanced energy yeah. it is it from coming from a heart space and we kind of equated he loves to play the guitar and i said when you play the guitar you're playing the music you're making the music notes happen okay yeah. so it's kind of like that um when a man is with a woman every touch it's like you're you're playing music and yeah. with with morgan and i i do art too and i say i can sit and draw and I look at Alan and he's like this masterpiece, this beauty, this beautiful piece of art. And I can just um, move the energy. So if we can look at it from being a creative force that is one that cannot be reckoned with yeah. and step into that as a divine couple, you create this world and what you want it to be. It's heaven on earth. And we yeah. do it from that balanced, sacred sexual union. Yeah. And, you know, another reason it resonates with me, what you're saying is, is that the, uh, the sacral, uh, the sacral, the womb, the sacral area, the, you know, the sexual power has been front and center. Like it's, it, it kind of went back here. Like, yes. like what you talked about with the distortion, it, it kind of went back here and, and we're like walking the path. We're like, Oh, I wonder if that's ever coming back or, you know, what, what's going on. But we always knew that because you could feel it. And we were told, like we would ask the question, hey, uh, you know, and they'd be like, uh, they'd start laughing and just say, don't worry about it. It's going to blow you away, you know, <laughs> but, but it's starting to come in and it's starting to come in very powerfully, very comfortably. Uh, I mean, it's like, whoa, you know, yeah. and it is tied to our, in fact, we were told that we were, we were told that verbatim you know, uh, two nights ago, uh, you know, pull up the white dragon and can silver white dragon had come in, uh, before and, and then it came back and utilized the, the silver white dragon to expand, explore your creativity slash sexuality, you know, sacred sexuality and so on. Uh, but yeah, that I, I feel it. And, and that again has to be something that's rooting or anchoring, uh, in, on the earth. And, and I would think most most of that's being done not that it matters but how else could it happen through these couples you know where you, where you have the each side of it in, in in a pretty proportionate balance and then they come together yeah i can i can i can feel that yeah, yeah i'm like yeah mine, i can't wait to get rid of the, bo the I know, bodies I know that, yeah yeah <laughs> really bodies. Get rid of the bodies yeah no kidding yeah, it's no, like, but, but mine has actually been drawn away from the sacral base chakra and it's centering more and more in into the heart space and yeah. i mean that's been a really weird transformation for me yeah. to be really honest about it because yeah you know, back in the earlier days i was fun yeah. loving we'll just say <laughs> yeah and you know and now it's it's transforming so i mean with everything else going on in the world right now and all the energy pouring in and we firmly believe it's pouring in by yeah. just huge um, I mean, that's just a little bit more added to the plate to kind of make it really interesting, you know? Yeah. I love how he says that. Make it interesting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I just want to validate. For, I don't think he needs it, but that's exactly what's ha what happened to me. So, so the emphasis, whether it be physical or non-physical, when we lay down at night, put our hands together, I always was feeling the sacral. Now, 
it wasn't always pleasant, you know, because and I could see things were being cleaned out and released and, you know, my body was talking to me. So I, at some point, I started to focus or whatever was focusing or sent to the heart. And then what I noticed, and this is very recent, this is like in the last three or four weeks it began, my focus started to be in the heart. And then a couple of weeks go by and the next thing you know, I'm laying down with her and my sacros, and I'm in the heart, but my sacral starts going crazy. And I yeah. thought, oh, wait a minute. You know, is there some kind of a uh, connection here? Uh, she, she's got a comment because uh, it's related. She's, so we had a huge experience of the high, that's right, of the higher heart. Right. Yeah. And the heart expansion two nights ago and a golden Taurus knot was placed in both of our sacrals uh, womb. Uh, this is day two of that activation. So, so, and so, and when it, when it happened, they said you have both a Taurus knot, which is the infinity sign with an extra loop, right? Mm -hmm. The Trinity uh, in your womb. Now I had just seen it like three or four minutes beforehand. I was like, what is that? You know, what is that? And I could feel it in my sacral. But when she said those words, I felt it in my womb went right down to my sacral, my root. And I was, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to, I'm going to leave my body, you know? <laughs> so I think this is part of that. As I'm talking to you, to me, it feels like that's part of that, what you were talking about with the feminine kind of went out and created the space, the, the container, the womb, spread her wings, found, went into alignment. He, he fell back from false masculine start supporting her and now it's his turn and like what you said go what did you say <laughs> go go do it now yeah do that's it. what yeah. it feels like yeah no and it's I think both it's a really good know? description Todd I really do no yeah. that's exactly the same thing I felt too it's just like even though it, it, it was a physicality about it it was much more an ethereal yeah. connection than a physical and that yeah. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. for, for the male to go through that and I, I don't know, maybe I'm a little late in the game feeling that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm you in know, the same boat you are. So you, don't... you get there when you get there. Right. Yeah. And I'm in the same boat. Hey, I gave it all. I said, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this anymore. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about my libido. I'm not going to worry about my, you know, any of that stuff. I don't want to yeah. get to go into old Todd here, <laughs> but <laughs> But, and I, and I let go of it and I was okay with it. It took a while, but when I started to feel, and it would be something like, okay, she's in the kitchen. I see her and I'm like, God, she's beautiful. And I just walk up to her and, and we have a kiss, you know, just, just as, like, like teenagers, mm -hmm. you know? And then I'm walking away and my whole body's just gone into like electric shock. And I'm <laughs> yeah, like, what it's vibrating. That? I know. And I'm well, like, you what the hell? You, you, don't you find Todd though, that you get, and I'm just going to be honest. You get aroused, <laughs> yes, a different what sort than what you had or yes. needed to be feeling that same arousal from previously, right? At, that's what I'm talking about. It uh, the closest thing I can bring it to, and it's not the same thing, right? Because the hormones as a teenager, are, you know, through the roof. But that's the closest thing I can bring it to is like the first couple of girlfriends, those first moment when you're discovering your sexuality, you know, your, your all that, right? But it's different because what happens is it, it I know this sounds cliche, but it, it comes from inside, mm -hmm. but not like before. It, 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 it's got like the tickle and all that, but there's this kind of like a surge. Yeah. And it, and it takes, and it takes, it has ramifications on the physical, but it's not <laughs> anything I've ever discovered before. And I've had it happen now probably eight or 10 times, but yeah. I'm like in the, you know, like, like at, at, at the one centimeter mark of Mount Everest. That's the way I feel. <laughs> no, hey, I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, I, I totally identify with that 100%. 100%. Well, Morgan obviously is uh, not as shy as she used to be. She just, <laughs> it's so funny because we'll do a show and she'll say, don't say anything that's going to embarrass me. <laughs> and then she'll immediately say something. So she says, yes, Todd says that the erection feels totally different than anything else before, which is true. That's just what I, yeah. was, what I was saying. It's not even, it's just, it's not even that. It's just like the sensations themselves are 
they're not even like of this world. I don't even know how to explain. I've literally, it, it, it literally <laughs> feels like low voltage electricity to me. Literally. Yeah. He goes, he goes somewhere else. We both go somewhere else. And I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, I'm, uh, I, I'll like, be back. Like, like what, like what <laughs> Todd was back. saying. I think I'm leaving. I'm, <laughs> I mean, we're hanging out together. We're going to be there together, but yeah. we're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I totally get it. It's the yeah. most intimate expression. It, it and, and it's evolving and it's like you're we're in like nursery school we're like in preschool or something you know i mean it, it's like we haven't even it's like it's beyond i mean i can't even get go there i mean it's just like crazy crazy another, another thing i noticed too <laughs> is that the um so we were apart for a long time you know in our journey so we did we had a lot of etherical intimacy you know whether we were talking to each other on the phone or, or messaging or not, or one was a, one was conscious and one wasn't, you know, I can remember many times she came into my field and vice versa, but, but what, what started happening in the last few weeks when we put our hands together at night, the entire consciousness, which I'd only experienced myself before the entire consciousness of the room was us, right? Like, mm -hmm. like I can't really do it justice, but it was, it was like this incredible dance at the cellular level, you know, times a million, you know, in the room. So I don't know, it's new energy or maybe it's old energy that we're bringing back to the earth. I don't know, but, but it sure is uh, encouraging. And you talked about, there's no uh, instant gratification <laughs> on this journey that you've been on. We've been on many couples and, and people. But I think we are starting to see some of the results now mm -hmm. or some of the payback that maybe yeah. was put off until we got to a certain point, you know? Wait till we mm -hmm. fully remember. Yeah, That's what we're doing. We're remembering yeah. and it's just coming in in stages. I think if we fully remembered, we would just be like, oh, oh. yeah. Oh, it just blow us out oh, of water. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't even think we could express what it, we it, could handle it. I don't no, know. we couldn't. I don't, know. I don't Maybe. believe we could. I don't believe we could. One of one of the reason I say that too is because I I typically will keep my eyes open when we connect, at least for a while. And over the last couple of weeks, the it's coming in like, are you sure you want to see this? We don't know if you can handle it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're probably right. Like like it, to me, what it meant was like whatever energies that I was seeing or in, in uh, used to seeing was going to take on such a physicality or something, you know, that it would be like frightening. So that I agree with. I think that that the good is it's it's we, we can't handle it all right now. There's there's no way. I think yeah. I think most of the time um, we do we go somewhere else. Um, my eyes are shut probably 90 percent of the time and yeah. yours are probably about 60 percent you know yeah, 60 but to that, 70 but, but that ratio is getting more and more it's getting more I mean, and more really to is. where it's kind of like what you were talking about it's just like yeah it is it's getting more and more it's almost like it, it not that i don't want to see what's going on necessarily but i mean you it's not it almost like it gets in the way yeah you know, like, yeah. like it's a, like it's a static a, a electrical interference in what yeah. the really good stuff is. <laughs> yeah, you know? I agree. And, That's where I'm at. That's yeah. my, eyes are, my eyes are staying closed more and more. Okay, well, good. Thank you yeah. for that confirmation that yeah. I'm not losing my flipping mind. No, right, I'm cool. telling you, that's, yeah, because I enjoyed seeing certain things, you know. Sure. That's like, what so, he would say. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. But then I got to the point where. Uh, well, it, like, okay, so it happened like a couple nights ago when, when uh, and the, the, the white dragon came in last night, too, now I think about it, but two nights ago, when the tourist thing was brought up and, and um, they were talking about some things, so before it started happening, I, I had my eyes open and it came right across my face, like, like, I was like, whoa, you know, and we weren't talking about it, and then, of course, three minutes later, she says, the dragon the white dragon's here. I'm like, yeah, no, you know, but, but <laughs> that was so close to me that I was like, you know, I'm going to close my eyes. <laughs> and to your point, I can actually see more when I do. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like this beautiful color palette that you have. 
Yeah. And you can kind of, I, I know I can move through it and just, it's like this art form. I've never, I told Alan, I said, I feel like I am building the most beautiful masterpiece with you. And wow. he is this amazing um, compilation of music that <laughs> just can't even be described or acknowledged. And that was one of the things that I know before I'd, I'd hear people talking about that and I'd be like, okay, I don't get it. <laughs> and I, and I don't think you're going to get it until you experience it, you know, yeah. and hopefully you will, you know, and I'm just yeah. speaking to any guys listening out there, if you give it long enough, stick with it, yeah. do the inner work. And, you know, even if you have a crappy day, like what Todd and I appear to be having today, <laughs> but we're going through it and yeah. it will happen. Won't it Todd? Yes, sir. And you, you know what? That that's exactly what I would like to say to 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 in particular to to the men. Yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> Cut them off. Don't worry about your rigidity. Don't worry about your performance. It, throw all that away. And I know it's difficult and it hurts, but I got to tell you, man. It and I've only seen a little bit of it. Yeah. It is absolutely, it's not worth, it's not even the way to, it's, it's mind blowing. It's definitely, it's definitely, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, okay. So like a reward or part of the, the, uh, the grace or the payback And it, it, I don't know. It's just, and it's part of the path with her, you know, it's not just about, but I'm just saying the masculine had to let go of all that stuff. I fought it, man. I was like, I was having convulsions and, and you know, <laughs> well, and I was projecting. We of, we, we've, we've got a lot of programming to overcome, don't we, yeah. Todd? I mean, yeah. we really do because you know what's out there yeah. and you know it's always portrayed of yeah. man to be. That's right. You know, so, I mean, and I spent, as I'm sure you did, years of my life having to live up to that false image, Yeah. you know, and I, I don't know, perhaps it was done intentionally, you know, to pray, hey, we can't let them know where their true power lies. Otherwise, yeah. oh my God, we're screwed. <laughs> you know, part, I guess that was maybe not the right word to use during this particular time. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that's another thing that's coming back too that I can feel that's coming back. Uh, because what happens is, you know, whether it's that, uh, well, we already talked about all this, right? So it, so when the <clears throat> when that arousal occurs, I don't even know it's happening, right? Like we'll we'll have a couple of kisses in the kitchen. I walk away. I'm like, what is going on? You know, because it, it it it's like uh it it lasts. It like has like waves, you know. So I, I'm digging it, you know. And and the and the thing I love about it too, it used to be in the old relationships or whatever the old 3D. You, you know, it was like, it was like, everything was like a, a sense of urgency. And I don't mean like, you know, couldn't be a marathon, but I'm just saying it's like, you, you know, there was no, I thought I knew what foreplay was. I'm in foreplay now, which is just a few kisses in the kitchen, you know, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe, a, you know, uh, you know, a hug. I mean, it's like, it's, it's like mind blowing. It, it's just mind blowing that you can actually you're, the body is connected and the body is responding, but it's not like it was at all. You know? well, it's taking its direction from a whole new source. Yeah. yeah. And not only yeah. that, but the hearing perception during this is yeah. amazing. The, yeah. the smell, um, taste, the, the, it's just it's like it heightens everything. Yeah, it does. Because Alan can be in a separate room and it's been that way for quite some time. He could be in a separate room and just barely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I could be completely across or downstairs and I'll hear it and I'll come up and go, are you humming? <laughs> and he's like, how could you possibly hear that? I mean, this isn't just like I'm doing it in this room and she hears me in the next room. I mean, this is in totally different parts of the house. Yeah. And it's just like, there's no, no physical earthly way she could hear that. So I hear no the, his frequency and I, I come running guys. All you got to do is put your frequency out there and yeah. she hears it. She yeah. smells it. She tastes it. She is in it. And it's, it's Boy, the most beautiful. I know. Today, yeah. huh? Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. 
Why I shouldn't know, it be man. beautiful? Who's made it? Who's made it to where it's it's something it's not? No, it's okay. It is yeah. beautiful. It's absolutely. the most beautiful thing. And it's absolutely, it really, absolutely right. In the in the in the masculine. I mean, I'm just going back on what Alan was saying earlier. You can't get there if you're holding on to any of that other stuff. And I know it's hard to let go of it, but oh man, it's 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 so worth it. It's so worth it. I mean, it, I can't even. I, I can't even I can't even talk about it to be honest with you. And I'm a talker. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't talk about it. I, I don't even know what to say. You know? It's just yeah. but one thing I one thing are. I will say huh? Look right? how beautiful you both are. <laughs> We're like little boys now. That's the thing. Yeah. And little boys yeah. in a you know, in a That's one of the things body. I've been striving to do, get back to that childlike wonder. Yeah that yes. I lost year decades yeah. ago. And the curiosity. Yeah. And the curiosity I have for her. Like like I've never seen her before. <laughs> you know? You know? She's like she's day, like I'm, right? I went in there after the previous show and she's like I, I, she was in the uh house and she's uh, fanning herself. I said, "Are you hot?" Cuz she's never hot. You know. And and she says, "Yeah, I was just in the backyard laying out." I'm like, "Why didn't you tell me?" <laughs> <laughs> hell i would have put the show on pause and said told the guests to keep talking i want to go take a look you know yeah <laughs> so, be back in 20 see ya. you you uh, guys are too cute <laughs> so uh so how uh, so you've set the intention to go to sedona right mm -hmm. yes yeah yeah and uh, um oh well she can hear it and uh I don't know. I, I don't know. I, when you guys were talking uh, and she was telling me what some of the stuff y'all were doing and, and I, I just, I don't know. I feel like we're all coming together and I really hope to, uh, I don't hope. I, I set the intention that we'll be able to be in the same space because, oh my God. I think oh, it's, no long, it's no yeah. longer, it's um, no longer, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, we are all um, longing to come together in person so yeah. that we can exchange these keys and codes. There's only so much you can do yeah. when you're meeting with people online, but when you come yeah. into that space together in a gathering of people mm. and you download those keys and codes. Oh, that's gonna be energetic. And think about Sedona, that's powerful Ooh. anyway. Oh, please. And yeah. all of these people, these, it, it, it's not just us guys, this, it, there are other mm -hmm. people that are going to Sedona early in the month and we're going later in the month, but the, it's like, everybody's talking. It's like, okay, you're going to Sedona. So yeah. are we, yeah. and now it's time to meet these people in, in person and, and be in these sacred sites and download what we have to give the earth. Yeah, and for us to get keys and codes from other people who have been all over the world. Yeah, yeah. There's something to it. We've met with a few couples. I know you have, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, again, it's the tip of the iceberg because the energy is expanded now. So uh, everything is is amplified now. So it makes sense. I'm glad you brought it up. I'm glad you brought it up. We'll see what we'll see what happens. And uh, God, I just want to say. Um, I love you both, and I and I really appreciate the fact that you're in our lives, and uh, I mean that because uh, you know it's it's obvious. And thank you for reaching out the first time <laughs> to that wild, crazy, shirtless, <laughs> you know, unshaven man, and then thank you for uh, coming back and having us on your show, and, and and I look forward to many, 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 many more collaborations oh, in the flesh and you. on the screen. We, we honor you and, and thank you for what you do, all the time and effort and love you put into what you do and uh, having us back. I mean, we're honored that you asked us back. So thank you from our hearts. And Absolutely. Morgan, you're right there with the sweetheart. Yeah. And hope this wasn't too embarrassing for you, sweetheart. <laughs> Are you kidding? She's over there in stitches laughing. <laughs> I'll see y'all. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bro.